Very few animals are capable of fighting and defeating a lion. Lions are known to be the king of the jungle. But does being a king mean they are the strongest? No! There are lots of animals in the wild that are capable of defeating a lion. Some of them are large animals, but most of them are smaller animal predators who share their prey and habitat with the lion, which usually ends up being a serious fight between each group. So in this video, we will show you 10 animals that can defeat a lion. Number 1. Tiger Among all big cats, lions and tigers are the biggest of them all. But the tiger is much bigger, stronger, and more powerful in comparison to the lion. So the question is, can a tiger defeat a lion? In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the tiger has all the physical advantages. Plus, the tiger is a more experienced fighter than the lion, because the tiger hunts its food alone, while a lion is dependent on its prime. Hunting alone for the lion would be very hard, especially the male lion. Yes, it is possible, but it rarely happens. Take a look at this and see for yourself how powerful a tiger is when fighting against the lion. You can clearly see that the tiger moves quicker and faster, standing and defending its ground, showing the lion who's the stronger and more powerful predator in the land. Number 2. Hyenas Lions are significantly larger and stronger than hyenas, and there is no doubt that in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the hyena does not even stand a chance of winning against the lion. But what advantages do hyenas have over the lions? Hyenas outnumber the lions, and they use their larger populations to compete with lions for food and territory. An injured or weaker lion would face a dangerous life-threatening situation once it got cornered by a group of hyenas. It would be almost impossible to fight back, and the only way for the lion to survive would be to escape. Did you know that the tiger is not the main rival and enemy of the lion? Actually, it is the hyenas, and because these two animals live in the same habitat, where they both hunt the same prey, scavenge the same animal remains, steal food from each other's groups, and even kill each other's young. Number three. Wild dogs. Lions, hyenas, and wild dogs are each other's rivals. These three top predators share their territory, food, and habitat in lots of places. Despite the size of a wild dog, they can still be a threat to hyenas and even to lions. Of course, they don't stand a chance in a fight one on one with lions, and even 10 wild dogs would still struggle to defeat a single lion. But wild dogs often work and hunt as a group, and if ever they got a chance encounter with an old, injured, or weaker lion, they would take that as an opportunity to kill it. They would surround it and attack it from different directions, from the front to back and from side to side, making it harder for the lion to fight back. And yes, even the lion cubs are not exempt. Wild dogs may be smaller, but they have a very wise strategy of hunting and defending their pride. Number 4. Buffalo We have seen in many videos how powerful a buffalo is, and that is capable of charging and tossing those lions who are trying to attack and feed on their species. The buffalo are known to be very protective of their members, especially those weaker and baby buffalo. It is so rare that a lion would hunt a buffalo alone unless they are experts and know exactly what they're doing. The only way a lion can defeat an adult buffalo is by getting a firm bite on its throat. That's the only way it can defeat a buffalo. But the lion should also be wary of its surroundings because other buffalo might come to help and save their member from these lions. They start charging and tossing the lion and then suddenly these predators become the prey. Number five, giraffe. A giraffe is a very large animal, significantly larger than a lion. They have a very strong kick that can generate an impact of 2,000 PSI. <coughs> its kick may break bones or even worse. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, a lion has no match with a giraffe. A giraffe is so very tall that a lion can never ever reach its throat for a bite. It would take a whole pride to take down a giraffe. 
and it takes a lot of courage for the pride because one wrong mistake would be fatal for the lion. A giraffe can kick from many different directions. From the front to back and side to side, delivering continuous kicks until the lion can no longer respond. There's no better luck next time to come for the lion and the giraffe lives happily ever after. Number six, zebra. There have been numerous recorded cases of zebras defeating a lion by the use of its signature defense mechanism, a very powerful 2,000 PSI kick directly to the head of the lion. That kick can at least break its jaw or may even end its life. A zebra's kick is as powerful as a giraffe, which is so impressive knowing that their legs are significantly shorter than the giraffe. A wise lion hunting a zebra should never ever show its face directly in the path of the hind legs of the zebra. Doing this gives the zebra the opportunity to deliver its powerful kick against the charging lion. After that, it would be the right time for the zebra to try and run and escape from the lion before it gets a chance to recover. Number 7. Rhinoceros Rhinoceroses are a very large aggressive animal in the wild. This animal has very poor eyesight, so they do sometimes charge on trees, cars, or anything that they think is a threat to them. A rhino can charge at a speed of 30 to 35 miles per hour, and together with its very large pointed horn, they can generate a very powerful impact that could possibly tear apart the body of the lion. Have you ever seen a video of a rhino charging on cars and other vehicles? They can toss or flip a car, making it look like a toy car. And imagine if that was the lion. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, a lion would definitely lose. And even a pride of lions don't often succeed in a fight with an adult rhinoceros. Number 8. Porcupine. A porcupine is not an aggressive animal, but when provoked, they will charge back to defend themselves from predators. Lions do not usually feed on the porcupine. However, in the absence of their preferred prey like zebras, buffaloes, and wildebeests, they would try to hunt a porcupine if they found one. But only those inexperienced lions or any other predators would attempt to attack a porcupine, not knowing how dangerous it would be. Porcupines have a very dangerous defense mechanism that is known to kill not just lions, but leopards as well. Once they feel threatened, the porcupine will raise their quills in a defensive position and the quills will then penetrate the skin of the lion and then the barbs will hold the quill on the lion's skin. The quill will release from the porcupine's body and stay attached to the lion. This will cause tremendous pain to the lion and can even be the cause of its death. Number 9. Hippopotamus A fully grown hippo is a very large aggressive animal. They usually open their mouth wide to show their dominance and power. A single lion would never even try to attack or provoke a hippo. Doing so would be very dangerous for the lion. By the use of its large mouth, together with its large teeth that can deliver a bite force that can reach up to 2,000 PSI, a lion would be lucky to survive the bite of a hippopotamus. It would take a whole pride of lions to take down a fully grown hippopotamus. But a lion pride doesn't usually hunt a hippo because while they may kill the hippo, there's a higher chance of the hippo killing one or two members of their pride. Number 10. Elephant. The elephant is a large, powerful animal, and in a one-on-one -on -one fight between the elephant versus the lion, the elephant most likely would win against the lion. The trunk is composed of 150,000 pure muscles that are capable of taking down trees or lifting heavy cars, and what more if it was the lion? They can also charge or stamp the lion, and even a whole pride of lions would be no match for a fully grown elephant. They would not even attempt to attack the elephant until the sun goes down. Lions are nocturnal animals and are capable of seeing at night, and this gives them the advantage of attacking the elephant while the elephant is not as capable of seeing at night. But still, it would take a lot of courage, even for the whole pride. 